they live in an urban society. I mean, they're, they're surrounded by heavy shit. So I think we might need some help here. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. We didn't have much as kids. Maribra Beach was a mother and a father to us. We had to fight to survive. Different gangs were coming down to the beach to fight surfers. Something had to be done. We had to stick together. So we called ourselves the Bra Boys. I bet Russell Crowe doesn't have a 2035 tattoo. Or does he? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> so he might. He's got, to st he's got to start off with a 2035 first. Okay. Make his way up to a Bravo. How, how did you get him to narrate? Um, yeah. uh, I, was, I met him after the strange story. He wanted to meet me. And he was ringing me up a couple of times and I didn't believe it was him. I just kept hanging up and like, stop ringing me, buddy. Whoever this is, I'm thinking it's one of my friends playing games. And then he emailed me. I did the same thing. He seriously, stop. I'm starting to get pissed off. Stop, stop doing this. And then one of my friends who plays for South Sydney, which is my favourite team, um, said, come up to me and said, hey, uh, Russell Crowe's been trying to contact you. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> I've just told him to piss off five times in a row. <laughs> and then we took him and showed him the movie, and um, he was really keen on it. He really liked the idea. Hello, Russell. Renee Movie Extra. Hello. I've seen the film. It packs a powerful punch. I even teared up in it. What got you on board? Well, I was interested in the, uh, in the subject matter, and I, I heard from some friends who are filmmakers, young filmmakers, that uh, the, there was a project already underway. Now, Kobe said to me today that uh, he, you called him quite a few times and he kept telling you to piss off because he didn't believe it was you. Does that happen a lot when you try and get in touch with people? Um, it's, it's happened occasionally. <laughs> Um, but he was really funny because I was emailing him too, you know, and just wouldn't answer the emails because he thought oh, someone was just pulling my leg, you know. And then he did answer one email, you know, quite aggressively. So I answered him even more aggressively and he answered back, it must be you. 